When you look at what's happening in America right now, what challenges do you think Christians could be facing sooner um, rather than later? Like, what do you kind of see on the horizon? This is the tip of the iceberg that is clearly pointing to some forms of persecution, um, especially at the level of ideology and thought. Because if I can force you to think a certain way, I can completely transform the landscape of society. And if I can do that through bullying, and let's let's be very clear, that's exactly what's happening, right? Um, and while while you did ask the question in regards to what's happening in the USA right now, I got to tell you, it's it's not any better in in Canada. Mm. I mean, North America in general, this what is called the progressive way of thinking, is actually not as progressive as much as it is. And and forgive me, I uh, I'm just gonna. It's okay, you can be honest. What's on my heart? Yeah. It's not progressive as much as it is demonic. Yes. I mean, let's 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 be very clear. Call a thing a thing. It, precisely, and at the end of the day, this is, it's completely untrue. And what it does is that it forbids you from challenging it, because the greatest thing that I'm seeing that is the biggest danger right now is that there's a complete hypocritical narrative that exists right now that applies only to one group of people. No, we actually celebrate free speech unless your speech goes against what I want you to say. I celebrate this idea of diversity, but unless your specific form of diversity stands against what I want you to say, there is this bullying from the top down effect, this enablement of people being forbidden to speak, forbidden to dialogue, forbidden to ask questions. And it's no longer the pursuit of truth as much as it is the narrative of forcing something down your throat. And if you really look at what's happening, the greatest indication for me that this is demonic is the fact that the greatest outcome of this very progressive social justice warrior narrative is comfort. And there's no room for comfort in the Christian way of life. Everything points to this idea of what 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 am I benefiting? How does this make me happy? I get to be my own God. Let me let me just share this one image with you, and then I'm going to stop speaking because I can ramble forever. But I I, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this also. But um, you know, in the early church, they used to take the Christian person and place him in front of an idol and say, offer incense. And that would be your form of conversion. And people would die, would die rather than offering incense to the idols. Hmm. Today, the North American person or the Western minded person, the person who has adopted this way of thinking, regardless of where they are on the globe, what are they really doing? They're standing in front of a mirror and offering incense to themselves. This is what I think is most dangerous. We have enabled people to worship their ego, to worship what they want. You want to believe that you are someone other than who you are? No problem. You define your identity. You can even define my identity. Whatever is real for you is real. You don't think this is black? You think it's purple? So be it. We're celebrating that it's purple. Where is truth in all of this? If there is no search for truth, regardless of how I feel, regardless of how uncomfortable it makes me, the truth should not be conditional upon my acceptance of it. What makes something true is that it is true. If I cannot pursue it for what it is, then I'm not interested in truth as much as I'm interested in myself. Abuna Anthony, you coming all the way through. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now in black church, here in the, in the States, I don't know if they do it anywhere else, but we will fan you when you say a good word. I'm going to fan you. Okay, you go ahead. Go ahead and preach. And see, this is what we need. We need somebody to just come with truth. You can't give a watered down message because when you give a watered down message, you're going to get a watered down faith and you're you're going to sit there offering your incense to your idol, which is yourself. You better come through. Everybody.